Well, it was, um, it was my first touring band, really, under my own name. And I loved the guys, I loved what they could do. Um, we did a tour where they were playing material from Acolyte and Please Don't Touch. And even though they didn't actually play on those records, they really gave it everything live. And uh, we did a great tour and I thought, oh wow. Um, I had to come up with a little more, more material, so there were a couple of things that were to become um, part of, of, of the subsequent album, which was Spectral Mornings. So, um, I think Clocks was really designed as a stage thing, and the title track, Spectral Mornings, was designed originally as a vocal piece. Uh, and I played it to the guys on guitar to illustrate the vocal piece that I thought should be done. And Pete Hicks, the singer, said, uh, well, it sounds great on guitar, Steve. Why don't you just stick like that? And I thought, oh, no. This would sound more like an Elton John song if it had um, lyrics on it. It was going to be somewhere between Elton John and, and Randy Newman, maybe. Um, uh, but of course, it came out as, as um, progressive. And we recorded in Holland. Um, it was very, very cold. It was. 15 degrees below freezing Fahrenheit, as it was in those days, and um, uh, frozen lakes in Holland, the phonogram studios, um, again very little sleep, lots of partying. So it was really a party that happened on record, you know, we weren't, we weren't straight, we weren't sober for it, um, uh, and yet it was a very cohesive album, I think. Um, I felt very relaxed, very excited about this thing that we were building. Um, I did think that it sounded wonderful. There were just some very long sessions way, in, way into the night, right. as I remember, and various um, <laughs> frequent trips to the drinks cabinet, which uh, got us through those times. It was absolutely freezing, as I recall. And, uh, Yes, I think it was quite frozen. The lake was, was frozen outside and uh, there were people sort of doing handbrake turns on, on the lake, this kind of thing. It was, uh, it, was, it, was, it was good fun. You know, Nick Magnus had this extraordinary sound. He had a thing called a Vox string thing. And when I first met him, I said, oh, I don't suppose you've got a sound like a, like a church organ or a pipe organ. He said, yes. And he pressed the switch. And he'd done this thing, he'd hooked up all the various octaves on this thing. And from this, um, this keyboard that I thought wasn't going to be able to do anything like that, it came out with this glorious pipe organ sound, which is the sound you hear on, on, uh, on Spectral Mornings.